Let's talk about how to get your digital interactive notebook to The first thing I want to remind you is that you should have a teacher version that is editable of your notebook and then a student version which is not editable. The difference being uh, your copy you can go in and edit anything and everything and then on the student copy they can only edit some things, the things that you've allowed them to. So. In order to get this notebook to them, the first thing we have to do is publish it. So by doing that, you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Publish to the Web. And remember that Google Slides thinks you're using this as a presentation, so you can kind of ignore these settings. They don't really matter anyway for what we're doing. You're just going to need to push this Publish button and then say OK. And then that's it for this. You can just hit the X. Okay, so now it's on the web and it's ready to go. Okay, the next step is we need to work on the sharing rights. So when you first create something, probably the settings are going to say private to only me, like mine do right now. But we need to change that because if we send it right now, students could not do a thing with it. So we're going to hit the share button and we're going to need to change down here with the link. So you've got two options. You can do, if your school or school district um, has a specific set linked with school Gmails, then you can click that, or you can click anyone with the link. I'm going to click the one for my school system because I want to have a little bit of um, privacy to the link. And then you're going to set it so that they can only view it. They should not be commenters or editors because all they need to do is view it and then make a copy of it. So we'll hit done. And you could just send this out with the link right now. The only issue is you're going to have to tell students to go to file, make a copy, and make their own copy and rename it. There is something you can do that will alleviate those steps. So if you see up here at the top, you have the URL for the Google Slides. You need to look for the word edit. So here's the word edit. And I'm actually going to delete everything from the word edit over. And I'm going to replace that with the word copy. And then I am going to copy that link. And I'm going to come to a new tab and I'm going to paste it and I'm just going to check it. So when I hit enter, you will see this is the page that we want students to be sent to because now they don't have to go through the steps to make a copy and you don't have to tell them to do that. All they have to do is hit this button that says make a copy. It's going to pull it up for them. And then the next couple of steps are also really important. You need to have students come up here to the top and type in their name so that they've changed the name of it to their name and to also type their name on the front cover of the notebook. I'm just using myself as an example. And then you're going to need them to also do some of the same steps where they are going to go to share and they are going to need to share their notebook with you. So I'm going to use my other email to show you. I would type, the students would need to type in your email, make you an editor, say notify, and then send. And what that's going to allow you to do is for you to have access to a student's notebook at any time for you to look at, grade, check, whatever you want to do, and it will automatically be added to your Google Drive. I would suggest, because this is a little bit of a complicated process with a couple steps, even with us removing some of the steps, I would write out the steps for students and put them whenever I send the link to them. So whenever I give them that forced copy link that's right here, I would not just send them the link. I would type up directions that tell them exactly what you need them to do. So let me show you how that looks in my Canvas. So when my students come to the page to get ready to use the notebook, I have typed up step-by-step -step directions and included the link. 
And I tell them, like, you need to go in and rename it and where that actually is. I tell them to make sure they're logging to their school Gmail. I tell them to make sure that they hit the share button and share it with me, which I need to add. They need to make me an editor. Um, you need to have all those steps in here. Um, I would also suggest, if possible, and you can walk them through this in class, that's a really good way to do it because then you can problem solve with students that are struggling and you also can yell out, I have so-and-so's notebook, I have so-and-so's notebook. You also could make a screencast recording like I'm doing right now where I'm sharing my screen with you and use that to walk students through how to get the notebook and rename it and share it with you. That can be really helpful for students, especially if you are fully virtual. And that's how you can get your notebook to students. You can put this information in an email and send them to it, or you can put the, it on a LMS system like Canvas or Schoology or Google Classroom and send it also to them that way.